Miss Michelle. Um, I'm sending this for all my friends in McCartney 7, McCartney 4, and if anybody else in any other class happens to see it, hey, I love and miss you guys so much. Um, I'm going to read a little story for you guys. Uh, first, I know in class now we normally talk about the front, book, a back, a book, and everything, so we're going to do a little bit of a review. Since I can't hear your response, we're just going to give you the answers, okay? <laughs> So today we're reading a book called Honey Tummies. Now this book is super special to me because one of my really good friends wrote this book on the front cover here. And then we got our back cover here with our little author there. That's Stephanie. Um, and we have the binding or the spine of the book. Now what's cool about this book is we always review how our authors write the words and our illustrators draw the pictures. But this book, Stephanie did both. So she is the author and the illustrator. Let's jump right in, guys. There once was a bee who loved to eat. Everything he saw became a treat. It's a little hard to do from that. His name was Benny and he buzzed around all summer long until the sun went down. He just got his little beeline. I'm hungry, Mom, he said with glee. And she'd reply, that's my bee. The mommy and the baby. Go and explore, Mama said to her son. With a smile and buzz, Benny headed for fun. There he is. Across fields of flowers, colorful and bright, finding nectar and pollen in the warm sun's light. Bouncing around from yard to yard, filling his tummy was never hard. Look at all that. Dusty pollen tickled his nose as summer started coming to a close. Look at his happy face. Tired and full, he flew back to his hive. That's where bees live. To sleep, wake up, and feel revived. Benny woke up and couldn't believe his eyes. Big white fluffy things fell from the skies. Mama, what's that? Benny asked Mama Bee. Benny, that's snow. Come on out and see. They look like they're having so much fun. We don't like the cold. We hate to shiver. Mama Bee told Benny while pretending to quiver. Mama Bee taught Benny all about the four seasons and how bees must stay warm for many different reasons. Yep, there's all the four different seasons. We sleep in the hive and keep our tummies full by eating all the honey that our little bodies could. Benny looked sad, his eyes full of gloom. But Mama, I ate so much, there's no more room. Oh no. Oh my dear Benny B, don't be funny. You have two tummies, one just for honey. Benny flipped and buzzed and twirled around, feeling a new kind of happy while he was upside down. <laughs> he gulped down honey almost every last drop. It was so sweet and delicious he didn't want to stop. Now Benny was ready to sleep through the winter freeze. He dreamt of the spring and summer buzzing happily through the breeze. <laughs> 
filling his belly with sweet nectar through the day, never forgetting his honey tummy, whatever comes his way. The end. So thanks for letting me read this to you guys. I really miss seeing you guys in class, all your little faces and smiles. And I know some of my friends won't be returning because you guys are going to kindergarten next year, which is so awesome. I'm so proud of all the work you guys have done. So I hope that you are making the best out of this break from school and I hope that you're behaving and listening to mom and dad and your grandparents or babysitters, whoever's around. Um, if you guys like this, let me know and then I'll do another one. I can keep it up all summer. All right, love you, bye.